Hi, this is Fred, coming at you from the Forever Bedrock Realm. Today we're going to build three cheap and easy XP farms with a special farm thrown in. So stick around to the end to see it all. This first farm is real easy. Just put down the double chest, put a hopper into the back of it, put a furnace on top of the hopper, put a lever on the side, the front, the back, somewhere on the furnace, put a hopper on top going into the furnace, and a chest or double chest on top. Now to use it, all you need to do is put some sort of fuel in, some sort of something to smelt in, and let it go through. To collect XP, you just wait till that double chest is full, flip the lever to turn it on, off, to stop it, wait till something smelts, and then grab that thing out of there. You can do this at any time, but you get the most XP if you let that double chest fill up at the bottom and the hopper. I build one of these XP farms in almost every new world I have. Here's the one on the realm. Okay, the level 2 XP farm is much like the first one, except we throw a villager powered potato farm on it so you don't have to worry about putting any things to smelt in there just getting some fuel first you want to mark out a chunk you can use chunk base i like to use math link in the description dig a hole near the center of the chunk fill it with water till the dirt four blocks from the water in all directions widen each one of those little spokes by one and then fill in the diamond shape plant potatoes now because you want to get those suckers ready to go before you get a farmer in there that needs a bunch of potatoes Put a composter on the water block and a light block on top of the composter. Now yes, I'm using glowstone here, but you don't need to go to the nether to get that. You can kill a bunch of witches. They'll drop it. Make it a cheap and easy hostile mob farm. Link in the description. Dig this weirdly shaped hole at one of the points. Like before, put down a double chest, a hopper, a furnace, a hopper, a chest, a lever. <laughs> put a fence post on the hopper. The farmer villager will throw potatoes at the other villager we have, and the fence post will stop him from getting to the villager, and instead it'll go to the hopper for us. Throw a slab in front of the hopper, that's for the villager to stand on. And let's add some stairs and a light to make it look nice. Now we need to wrap the farm in glass, but next to where our secondary villager is, we're going to put in a workstation. I'm going to put in a Fletcher table thingy so I can trade sticks, but you might as well get some use out of this villager that'll just be standing around not getting potatoes anyway. Do a second layer of glass, but add a trap door so you can access that secondary villager to trade with it. Now we need to add post to all these open spots to protect the farmer from zombies. They can kind of hit through the centers of the glass where they meet. Now you need to do a slap on a glass roof, but remember to leave a couple holes to get the villagers in. Now I suggest you build yourself a villager breeder and just move them there on track. Because villagers are a pain, so once you get a couple in your area, you want to like keep them around. So I threw together this, you know little farm nothing much just a one chunk building a couple villagers in no big deal <laughs> having this so close to my base is gonna have so many problems and repercussions but that's okay it'll be fine hey buddy what's you doing why don't you and I take a little walk over here yeah you want to make sure you I don't think you should be using nitwits nitwits are never good for anything If you want to get them there faster, you can use powered rails, but eh, whatever. Boop. So then we just break a little glass. Look at that. He didn't even kill the crop. Nice. Let's go over here, throw it on a bed. And once you get your farmer or a potato or two, he'll start figuring out that that's what he's supposed to be doing. Otherwise, you're just sitting here waiting for it to happen like I was. Okay, so this is a standard potato farm. This guy will plant potatoes, harvest potatoes. When he has a bunch of them, he'll come over here to share with his little friend. But his little friend can't get them. Oh, because there's a big fence post in the way. It's so sad. This is going to take a while to get started. Let it run. If you have a bunch of potatoes, go ahead and toss them straight to the farmer. As many as he can get early on, the quicker the process will start. And once you start shoving potatoes down here, all you need to do is go up to this chest, drop in some fuel, and it works the same way as our first level XP farm. You want to collect it, you just hold it there so they don't fall through. Go, bloop, yum, 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 yum. But really you want to let this run until this is all the way full. For the level three cheap and easy XP farm, we once again mark off the corners of a chunk. I can't, I suggest you don't actually build those next to this farm. It'll cause problems, but it should be fine. <laughs> if you're doing this, just choose one of these three levels. Maybe convert, but just for right now, ignore that I make bad decisions, all right?
I want to be to one side of it, but kind of towards the middle. So from this corner, I'm going to count out six, seven, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Turn and count in five. One. Drop your water in. Now this time we're actually going to build a full farm, so it's four in each direction, just like before, to make the cross, and then actually fill in the corners. Now from the water and away from that back wall, go to the edge and just mark these three blocks. So the first one and one on either side. And then we need to dig a five by five by five hole, but from this level. So I've got a two level thing here and that was on purpose just so I only have to dig down four over here. <laughs> so once you have your hole in there, you need to go grab some redstone. Not too much, a couple repeaters, a redstone torch, piston, dust, lever, dispenser, obviously a bunch of hoppers and chests just like other farms. And so the whole point of this level three is that we're actually gonna include a fuel source with it, fed by bone meal from a potato bone meal farm as well. And we tower up with the hoppers there. So down in this back corner, you can go ahead and throw in some more solid blocks. Because you don't have to dig out the whole 5x5. Five five. It's just easier this way. we got to get a little Trixies, which is why we're so far down. So I put that there. So when items go into this chest... Uh, so when items go into this chest, they'll split between the two. All the potatoes go in here, they'll be split between the two things. We'll turn the one half into bone meal, and from that use it to create bamboo, which we'll use to fuel our furnace, which, once again, back to an XP farm. The dispenser here. That there. Our piston there. And hoppers like that. So go ahead and plant your bamboo here. Okay, let's put the redstone in to power this sucker. First thing I'm going to do is actually put another layer of dirt back. I know, it was easier for me to say 5x5. Five five. You know, just, 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 okay, okay. Now we're going to have redstone components over here, so we use a non-standard block. Let's fill this in with dirt. Put one of these here. Little, whoops, that's an X. Little redstone. Another block, another block. Repeater here on two ticks. Repeater here on two ticks. One more block there. And a torch there to power the clock. Then we throw on a switch just so it's not running constantly. Now we throw in a little more dirt just to make sure that our bamboo doesn't go flying everywhere. We're not, whoops. We're not going to put it all in yet because we have to remove this composter until we get all of our farmers there. You see how it's linked up? That's not good. We don't want that. So once you've got it to this stage and you removed your composter, let's go ahead and put glass around. And when you get to this section, go ahead and finish that off. And then this is where our villager will be standing. So right here we want to put in a workstation, or we will want to put in a workstation. We're going to hold off on that for right now. I'm going to go ahead and use a barrel. I get a lot of fish from my AFK gold and copper farm. I also get some emeralds out of it too. But for the meantime, you can go ahead and close that off too. At least get an idea of where it's going to be. And as normal, go ahead and stack them up again. Don't forget your composter and your glowstone. I'm going to go ahead and put a slab roof on this. Got to protect our investment. Plus I'm trying to use up some of this polished diorite. I've got way too much of it. Alright, I've got that prepared. This one's semi-prepared. I'm going to go get the first villager that will be the farmer. Get them started working. We've got our farmer in there and he's farming away. So I'm going to put that there. I'm going to put light here for him. Then I'm actually going to leave this open for my trapdoor system. Just like over there. Now I like to trade once with him just to make sure he gets locked in. I don't want his shenanigans with switching uh, workstations or whatnot. I've got his bed down. So I'm going to go get the other villager, drop him into here, lock him in, put his bed down. Then we can build the rest of this part and be done. Okay, we've got our happy villagers. Oh, it's already got potatoes coming through. 
potatoes here, but not in here, which tells me I put this hopper in wrong. I do this all the time. When you want stuff to burn, you put it in top. When you want it to burn this fuel, you put it in the side. But here's the thing. Keep this locked. We do not want potatoes in here yet because we need to get a huge backlog of bamboo in before we can actually start using this farm. You want to grab as much bone meal as you have and just cram it into that dispenser. We need to load up essentially both these hoppers with as much bamboo as possible because bamboo burns quickly per potato. It's not exactly AFK, we have to turn it off, you know, we want to, we want to keep it in control. Go ahead and use a light there. You don't want it dark down there. Put that there, put that there. Go ahead and block this in, block this in. For fun, let's put glass over here so we can see all the action. You're gonna block this in just so the bamboo doesn't just kind of glitch through anything. If we throw that on, we can see it working. So I threw a bunch of bone meal in here. So what we'll do is we'll see it actually collect in here. Whoops, get rid of the dirt. I won't be going in here yet because we have that off. Sounds like we're out of bone meal, yep. So we can turn this off. If we flip this on, we should see it light up. You can see potatoes slowly moving through. And just like before, we lock it, let a potato go down. And get that delicious, delicious XP. Now what I might do is actually, once you got your XP, let's go ahead and take the potatoes out and put them back up here. Basically, you're going to want this to have enough potatoes shooting through to really get a lot of bone meal backed up and get a lot of bamboo. Are there better fuel sources? Sure. You could even throw some in there. Are there better fuel sources? Sure. But this one kind of produces itself and it's self-sustaining if a little slow, but that's okay because it's cheap and easy. So there we have it are three levels of cheap and easy XP farms brought to you on the Forever Bedrock Realm. I need to clean up this mess and go see what the other people are doing. Go check out all their videos. I'm going to have to because I don't know what's going on. Thanks for watching. Leave a comment. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll talk to you all later. But not you because you've got an attitude.